ever send your wingman to the bar to talk to that pretty girl only to see that he's taken the girl or worse yet she's not interested maybe the problem isn't you but it's your wingman which brings us here to Beekman Beer Garden here in New York City to meet Thomas a man who's made a professional career out of being a wingman so do the pros do it better watch what happens confidence is actually really really important you can't just buy confidence, right? You can't go to the bar, get confidence on tap, right? <laughs> Thomas Edwards was maintaining a blog on relationships already when one night he helped a friend score a date in return for free drinks. He put two and two together and the professional wingman was born. Now for a premium, you can hire Thomas to come along with you to a bar or other social scenes where he'll serve you as a professional wingman, helping you build your self-confidence and get the girl. We brought our fellow reporter Howard along as a guinea pig to see if he could learn something from the professional. It doesn't feel like a lot of guys kind of have the confidence to kind of come up and talk to you. Why do you think that is? Fear of rejection, fear of loss. I mean, that's really the number one thing. They don't want to be seen being, you know, dismissed by a group of women because they feel everyone in the bar or everyone in the social venue sees that. And so that's really the number one thing. And what guys tend to do is when they have that anxiety or they feel like they might be rejected, they're gonna give themselves tons of excuses why they should not approach you. Whether, oh, you're with your friends or there's a dude close by or they're eating or she's wearing her hair wrong. I mean, they really just make up anything. <laughs> she's wearing her hair wrong. <laughs> you know, I hate that hair. <laughs> you know, exactly, right? Don't you hate when that happens? But <laughs> it's one of those things where, you know, guys just really make a lot tons of excuses to why they shouldn't do something. but. I always used to tell my clients, it's more about fear of success. Mm -hmm. You know, what would happen if you did go over there and all of a sudden you meet the woman of your dreams? Mm -hmm. What do you do then? Emily, tell us the best thing about Megan. The best thing the about her? The best thing. There might be like a million things, but yeah, what's like the best thing? There's too many. Why are men hiring you as opposed to leaning on their friend? Why you? It's quality, quality of life. You know, a friend will tell you what you want to hear. Right? You don't hire me to tell you what you want to hear. You hire me to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. And if you're not doing something well that's going to that is going to prevent you from getting what you want, you need me to be able to tell you that. Not only tell you that, but also to show you how to actually fix that and, and get the results that you're looking for. I think I heard her. Did she say she had a boyfriend? The one across from me. Emily, right? Right, right, right. Okay. So you could have found that out a lot sooner in the interaction. Did, or else, did she did she mention it before? Um, no, no. Say so right. So you could have mentioned she could she could have got that out of her a lot a lot sooner, which would have saved us so so much more time. You said to me earlier you only accept about fifty percent of applications. No. Yeah. What happens to the other fifty percent? Why didn't you choose them? Why won't you work with them? It's a variety of re reasons. Uh, we aren't in the business of getting people laid. That's just not what we do. There are other services out there that do that. We're just not going to be one of them. There's hookers that do that. <laughs> Tons, tons of stuff, <laughs> right? But we're in it just only for personal development to boost people's confidence, but also find long-lasting, committed relationships. So we only work with people who are committed to the process, who have good intentions for what we're going to teach them, but also willing to do the things that are necessary to help them improve their lives. Mm -hmm. That means getting out of their comfort zone and understanding that there might be some fundamental behaviors that you might have to change in order to get what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. If you're not willing to do that, then we can't help you.